Hi there, Bernie from Marcus here. Today we're going to be talking about how to drill a tile without cracking it. Okay, so the first step we need to do is inspect the tile. So have a look at the tile, make sure there's no cracks, no blemishes, and make sure the tile's firm. Okay, so the tools we're going to need for drilling the tiles. One, we need something to mark the tiles with. Then obviously the CD850. The cordless drill. Then, obviously, once we've drilled through the tile, then we need to drill the material behind the tile. So for that, we're going to be using the Marquist MM850 multi-material drill. Ruler, measure, whichever. And also spirit level to make sure the item's level. Okay, the first job we need to do is find out the centre distance between the two holes. So for this toothbrush holder, we can see it's 90 millimetres. So obviously... We said 90 millimetres, so there we go, and there we go. Okay, now we just need to check, make sure the holes are level for the toothbrush holder and just readjust if need be. So yeah, just slightly down, there we go. Okay, so we want to be drilling at 1700 RPM, so into high speed and into rotary mode. So the next one now, we're going to be using our cordless machine. We're going to be running this at 1700 RPM, so that's the maximum for the CD850. We just press onto the tile, squeeze the trigger link back into the tile, and speed it all the way through. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Okay, we're ready for the second hole. Same again. Nice and slow, let it bite in. The full speed, there we go. Okay, for the second part of the hole, we've now changed the MM850, the multi-material drill, because we want to drill through the material behind the tile, as always. Keep it nice and square, and just drill through nice and steady. Just going deep enough for the plug. Same again with the second hole. So obviously when we're drilling fixing holes, it's very important to use two drills. The first stage is always the tile drill, and then the second stage is always a multi-material drill or a fixing drill. I would never use a material drill uh, to drill tiles, because obviously they will damage quite easily. Okay, so the next stage we just need to install the plugs into the holes we've already drilled. Okay, next stage now we just need to insert the screws into the plugs. So for that operation we use the CD850, you'll notice we didn't use a drill guide with that. Obviously with the CD850, tungsten carbide tip, self-centering, precision ground tip, you don't need to use a drill guide. Right, now we're going to move on to the porcelain grade 5 here. This time we're going to be using our PG750X. We're going to be using a cordless machine again. This time we're going to be running at 2000 RPM, which is the absolute optimum for the PG750X on a cordless machine. Okay, PG750X. This time we're going to be into rotary mode and into high speed to run at 2000 RPM. In order to do this, because it doesn't have a, a centered tip like on the CD850, we have to use the drilling guide, the steel drilling guide. Drill guide's on. I'm going to drill into the tile so we don't slip them under. Nice and steady. Right into the tile. Slight bit of oscillation there, which is absolutely perfect and normal. Start drilling. Slight oscillation. Obviously, when we're oscillating, we do let the hole flat if we do. But it's normally around 0.2 millimetres, so it hardly makes any difference. It'll make a massive difference to the lifetime of the tile hole and drill. Okay, we've now finished with the PG750X, we've now swapped to an MM850, and now we're going to drill the material behind the tile. So, to do this, full speed again, but this time we don't need to oscillate. Oscillation only needs to be done on the tile, obviously like I said before, only makes it 0.2mm maximum bigger. Now keep it nice and straight so the plug, when you push the plug in it sits nice and tight. Okay. 
just there's a few things to remember when drilling obviously number one check the tile make sure it's nice and firm and solid underneath the tile number two if you're drilling close to the edge I always recommend you use a, a new or a sharp tile drill to ensure it drills efficiently and with as less heat as possible okay when you're using the CD850 obviously point and drill straight through the tile no oscillation needed on the ceramic okay a few things to remember when drilling with the PG750X obviously you want to be careful where we drill obviously closer to the edge you need to be more precise keep the oscillation small also don't worry about the heat because obviously with the PG750X it's wax filled so we use the heat generated from the drill that's why we need 2000 rpm this melts the wax coats the tips and keeps it drilling ready for next time okay that's me finished now if you want to purchase any items you've seen in this video you can purchase them online in branch or follow the links below